Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions in video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 100, 200 now, over 200 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or well, actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, never will. I don't have to sell any courses. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So everything I do create, including the calls and the videos, I post them completely free for you guys. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case most of the videos on YouTube, right? Including the entertainment ones you like to watch. I don't create entertainment videos, I create things that will help you in your career. But it's your decision, I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out. And if it didn't, just drop me a comment as I said. I will be happy to provide you the information in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again back with another requested video as always which is how to center the header menu position on your Shopify store because that option is not available on the team editor. And we will do that by using our own custom code, as always. Without any more talking, let's just get to it. This is the Shopify dashboard, by the way. And I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code or every video I do create, I do demonstration in the video on down team. Because it's the most used one, also is the most requested one from people. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free most used again Shopify teams, which is Reflare, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try them, try the codes behind the scenes on all of these teams. So I'd make sure to uh, for for people that it's not using down team, if you're using one of these, should work for you just fine. And I do that behind the scenes so I don't bore people in the video because like six or seven teams in here is gonna take too long if I do it in the video. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team in the video and you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind without the way. And you just get to it and show you how to center these right here, the hidden menu. And if you notice, there is space between each menu in here. I did that in a video. I did show in a video how to uh, adjust the spacing between menus in the header for your Shopify team. And not just that, every little thing, scrolling bar, announcement bar, everything in the Shopify store is impossible to mention them all in a video. I did it in tutorials because I don't remove the changes in here. So if you saw anything on the Shopify store that you liked and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because that video will be already made and posted on the channel. But for this video, as I said, we will center these ones right here. So obviously we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, if you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams and click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and files, use the search bar at the top left corner. And I have to repeat this again for the 10 million times. So it's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some rare custom made teams going to be custom.css. But they mostly use base or team or style. And most of the free ones use base. So I'm going to type in base. Here it is, base.css. Click on it. A bunch of CSS code would show up. Uh, after that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. And if you are interested in removing the scroll bar from your Shopify store, I already made a video. So let's just scroll down, down here, and here we go. So in here, we need to create some, some space to paste in our code. But there is no space. To create that space, click front of the last thing in here, in my case, which is closing bracket. Then hit enter on your keyboard, and here we go. We have a completely new line, fresh to paste in our code. And where are you going to get that code? Go and hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down to the description box and you will see a link named this code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code as you can see. And this little code for us will do the trick. will actually center the header. So select the whole thing in here, right click, copy, get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file. After that, click on the save button. We will wait for a couple of seconds. We're good. 
we'll get back in here remember what it is right so you, you might see you might say oh there is no changes reload the page and check it out now it moves to the center as you can see and that's how you center the header menu position on your Shopify store by using a single line of code, maybe two lines or three lines. Anyway, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.